So I want you to picture this, and I think for many of the people in the room, it will not be such a stretch. Uh, you have a three-week-old. It's three o'clock in the morning. You're sitting in bed. Uh, the baby has fallen asleep. You know that if you just kind of like edge over and you edge the baby down, that, that he will stay asleep, uh, and, and so will you. Uh, and that you will feel great, uh, but you're not sure if that's what you want to do. There's a bassinet next to you, and maybe you're supposed to put them, put them down in there. You kind of know that I told you maybe you should, you should do that. So, so what do you do? You know, if you do that, he's just gonna be like, ah, ah, and then you'll have to start over again. Um, so, what do you do? Uh, so you have a, a partner, but that jerk is asleep next to you, uh, and then, you know, snoring. Uh, and so you, so maybe you take out your phone and you open up. Facebook, and or you open up Google and you pose the question, or you Google or you Google the question, and and ultimately what you find are the conflicting views. On the one hand, there are the people who tell you like absolutely it's important to sleep with your baby because that's how they know that you love them because they like to be on you all the time. And then on the other hand, there are people who are telling you if you do that, your baby will die for sure. And so how do you make that choice? Well, I think most people would not be like oh. Economics. That's how you're going to make that choice. Um, but my whole premise is like, yeah, that's how you're going to make the choice. Use economics. Uh, and and I think it's precisely the reason is that economics is about decision making and about objectively looking at the evidence and data and then making a decision that takes into account that data, but also the preferences that you uh, that that you that you have. And so I'm going to argue in a question like that, what you need to do is start by thinking about how risky is this, what are the kinds of risks, what are the benefits, and then combine that with some understanding of your, uh, of your preferences and make the choice that works for your family. And that last piece, the idea that, that preferences matter, I think in some sense that's behind this, the part of the title about more relaxed parenting, because I think part of what is so stressful about parenting is the feeling that maybe we're doing it wrong and other people have told us that we're doing it wrong, for sure, all the time. Uh, and that if we could only make, be more confident that we had thought through these choices and we had made the ones that right for, were right for us, and we recognize that they may not be the same choices that are gonna work for everyone, that that would ultimately help us be more relaxed and happy in those choices.